Greetings and good day. This is a video presentation output of Group 5, Kanto Boys, for Activity 2 in Science 11b, Living Systems, Concepts, and Dynamics. As we have learned in class, the purpose served by models or diagrams involve being graphic or verbal illustrations, which, number one, mimics real-world phenomena, and number two, it also functions as a basis into making predictions. Within this output, our group, named Canto Boys, have developed a graphic model which shows a living system, which is the food web. Along with the food web diagram, certain questions being answered are also included. Without any further ado, let us dive deep and learn about the food web. Before we observe the food web diagram within this presentation, let us first answer the question, is your system living or non-living? And our answer is, it is living. The system that we present is an example of a food web. The food web is a natural interaction of the various food chains that occurs in an ecosystem. So now, we could say that the food web is a living system as its components are the organisms and living things that belong in that certain ecosystem. Upon observing the diagram, it presents a clear graphic model of a food web, one living system that is certainly vital to the natural and recurring cycles and processes of the world. Hence, it is equally important to answer the question, can you identify the parts? Of course, the food web consists of three parts, producers, consumers, and decomposers. First, the folks that harness the sun's energy are called the producers, and these are the green plants and the phytoplankton. The created energy is then consumed by the consumers, and they are organisms that basically consume whatever they can find. When the last consumer dies, the dead matter is then converted back into energy in the form of gases, such as nitrogen and carbon by the decomposers. Do the parts affect each other? And we answer, absolutely. The parts of the food web absolutely affect each other. Each part of the food web plays an important role in maintaining the balance of the population and growth of different species. All kinds of ecosystems are dependent on the producers. Since consumers rely on producers for food, removing consumers from the food web would mean they wouldn't have anything to eat. The lack of consumers will either result to an increase in species population and shortage of producers, because more organisms will be feeding on limited resources. If we were to remove decomposers, the plants would not get essential nutrients, and dead matter and waste would pile up. Do the parts, together, produce an effect that is different from the effect of each part on its own? And our answer is yes. By default, the mere presence and natural activities of individual parts comprise the composition, body, and structure of the system, which are fundamentally the basic effect or function each component has. The effect within the food web as a living system would be that energy varies throughout as it gets less and less consecutively from each trophic level of organisms, starting from producers to consumers and finally decomposers. In order to fully understand and interpret the food web along with its effects, a final question should be answered, which is Does the effect, the behavior over time, persist in a variety of circumstances? And our answer is, yeah. Technically, this could persist no matter what, and the given circumstances only become a precursor of either positive or negative feedback. Once again, greetings and good day. That's the food web, and that's all for today. This is presented by Group 5, Canto Boys of Science 11b. Living Systems concepts, and dynamics. Thank you and God bless.